Hey guys, um, episode 48. Um, we're going to go to a very simple drill today, but it's very important because a lot of our guys who chase shoulder mobility never have a reference point for restoring normal force couples and timings of the shoulder muscles working together. This is very simplistic, but actually is a big, big problem with a lot of the patients we've been seeing lately. And this drill is so simple that it's really a shame if you don't do it with any regularity. What we're going to look at is basically getting the shoulder girdle and rotator cuff to work together as a force couple. Now, this drill is quite simply going to be standing with your arms by your side, taking your arms through a full range of movement, but pausing before you get to the hands together point. And then you're going to come back down. During this movement, your thumb is going to remain the leading point. It's going to lead the way the entire time. And what we're talking about is not moving in line with your body. We're talking about moving in line with this 45 degrees position. So it's not straightforward. It's not out the side. It's 45 degrees in between the two. You're literally going to squeeze your stomach and squeeze your butt nice and tight. You're going to point your thumbs really deliberate. You're going to come through a range of movement. You're going to deliberately stop early and you're going to come back down, down to the bottom. The biggest failings in this movement pattern are as follows. We always, almost always see a failure of the shoulder girdle position. And as the arm elevates, the shoulder girdle will either elevate with it or it will push forward into this protracted posture. This becomes very, very habitual with how people receive cleans and snatches and also how they transition from shoulder to overhead. What we're going to talk about is just getting some shoulder blade control first. So you'll see with my shoulders that no time do my shoulders elevate and jump up in the air. They stay in a really good controlled set position the entire time. From behind, of course, this looks something like this. My shoulders are not up here, they're not forward, they're in a kind of down and set position. I'm setting my shoulders, I'm taking my shoulders through a full range, stopping short and full range of movement, and back down to the bottom. Now the reason I'm stopping before full range of movement is there is some elevation necessary to achieve full range of movement, but this drill is not looking at training that. So we're going to avoid the last piece of movement so it doesn't conflict or give conflicting messages to what you're trying to achieve. This is extremely simple. You can definitely use a free weight, a dumbbell or a disc to intensify this. My favorite preference is simply to get hold of an elasticated band you're going to get some tension in the starting position, very little, not much at all. And as you go out the movement, the middle point of the movement is the widest point. You're going to make sure you brace at that point really hard. And you're going to allow the band to come back together under control. And you're controlling every aspect of this movement all the way through range. You're going to come all the way through. Everything staying the same shoulder height wise. I pause and I relax off. You can even do a series of pauses in different positions. This is fantastic. The band adds this resistance, pulling you across into what we would call horizontal flexion. It wants to pull you across your body. And in order to keep yourself in this plane of movement, your rotator cuff has to fully engage and work alongside your shoulder girdle stabilizer. And that is how they work optimally when we're setting ourselves up for pushing, pressing and receiving positions. Such a simple drill, it's having fantastic results with our shoulder athletes, particularly our athletes who spend loads of time with their arms above their head, um, i.e. our weightlifting guys, our swimmers, our rock climbing um, patients, are having real fantastic results from doing such a simple drill that we thought we'd have to show you. Um, have a go guys, you can certainly do this with your back against the wall with your, um, your lumbar spine flattened and hollowed, that's fine as well, it's like squat position, it's quite nice. As always guys, your comments are always welcome. Have a go at this, it seems so straightforward that you probably won't want to, but once you've done it a few times, you'll feel exactly what it does for your shoulder girdle, it switches everything on. Have a go guys, and as usual, your comments are always welcome. Catch you next time.